Hello there, fellow YouTubers. How are you? Uh, my name is Nuno. Uh, for the guys that don't know me, uh, I live in Portugal. And uh, today I decided, uh, since it's Sunday, and I don't like to leave my house on Sunday, lots of traffic. Um, I decided to to make a different video. Okay, it's a tech-related video, but but also um, a music-related video. We are using uh, Garage Band and. Uh, uh, I have I have a guitar that is almost now 25 years old. I have another one that is over there. It's a Fender Stratocaster. Uh, that one is of course in in a very good state and very well preserved. But this one was my my I think it was the first guitar that I had when I was a, a teenager, <laughs> and it's. It is here, okay. It's it's not in good state. It is a Washburn guitar, okay. I don't know if you know the brand. Uh, the strings are, you know, they are in awful. <laughs> they are they are. I don't know the, the term in English, but you know they are. Uh, you know when they iron becomes, it's. Uh, I, I think these these strings are perhaps two years old. I don't know, but if you I don't know if you can check. You know, it's in awful state. This guitar but it has a wonderful sound and uh, I'm an amateur okay I'm uh, definitely definitely an amateur so not not a good guitar player I like to jam a little bit just not to forget my my you know to, to give some some exercise to the fingers and not forget the, the positions on, on on the guitar I will play some slow blues uh, on on garage band, okay. Uh, so I already took the instrumental from a YouTube track. I will put that. Uh, I will show you how to do it on garage band. How to put that, uh, and I will use also my Apogee One interface, okay, to connect this guitar to my to my MacBook Pro and start the recording, okay. So um, let's go ahead. I will show you uh, the first phase on the computer how to set up all the things and of course um, I will keep recording this uh, amateur performance okay and excuse me because I'm in fact an amateur and I, I don't play guitar and lots and lots of lots of years uh, all the dust is here okay <laughs> in this one the other one is in, the, in, in a case but uh, I will check the sound of this guitar and see how it is after this almost 25 years uh, without any case, always uh, stuck into the wall, and uh, you know I will see how things are going, and uh, it's like going back to the past, and and uh, I have a little bit of nostalgia when I remember this guitar. So let's go ahead, and uh, I will demonstrate how you do the, this for the beginners. Beginners, I'm sorry, on on Garage Band, how to do this. Okay, so let's go ahead then. Okay guys, very well, sorry for the shakiness, uh, it's an iPhone recording, so Apogee One music interface, okay, uh, I will show you now where my guitar is connected, there is a split cable that is connected to that Apogee One, I will turn the light on for you to see, so my guitar is connected uh, beside that XLR cable, okay. So let's. This is the cable as you can see, and this is the guitar that I told you earlier. Okay, the Washburn. Let's go ahead to the screencast to show you how things are done. Very well, let's go to the steps that are necessary for you to uh, play your instrument directly uh, to Garage Band. Okay, uh, so. What uh, did I did? What uh, have I done uh, first? So I went to uh, YouTube and found uh, backtracking. Okay, uh, backing track. Uh, in this case, uh, slow blues. This is a program that is called I Record Music. It's a paid program, but you can record. Uh, you can take out the music from the videos that you like 
so it's a paid program but you can use it as a free as a shareware uh, you can take about 15 minutes of, of recording okay so that's more than enough so I took I took the music and uh, this program uh, automatically converts the music to um, uh, a format that is readable by iTunes and imports automatically also to iTunes okay so this is a program uh, go ahead check it I record music and allows you to take the music from the videos that are on YouTube or other sites okay so this is the first one let's take it out so after that uh, the music that I recorded went to my iTunes automatically it's over here okay the track what I've done what I have done in order to import to Final Cut is to grab that music and I put it in my desktop okay quit iTunes quit iTunes and then in Final Cut what is necessary is just for you to as you can see over here I have the music what you have to do is just go and go to file import files and here is my desk and the music that I told you and then you click import okay and guys this is all that you need and let's minimize here final cut or even close it because now let's go to the garage band for you to to check so in garage band here it is this is the music that I recorded that you'll see in a posterior phase in this video so this is my guitar already connected okay as you can see the input is my Apogee 1 okay the instrument okay over here my Apogee 1 so my guitar is connected over there and this track what you have to do is just to go ahead and put it there okay uh, I will not put because this is my final project and uh, afterwards just afterwards just click on the instrument that you want to record click on the space bar click on the sorry click on the record and start playing and that's it on when you finish go to share and export music to iTunes that I show you on the, your earlier phase so guys these are the steps that I took in order to uh, give you this final video and now enjoy once again this this, this is just uh, amateur playing but it's good uh, uh, to spend some time and to practice uh, and playing guitar needs lots and lots of practice practice enjoy guys and i hope to see you soon on another video bye bye